Hi, my name is Rob Ray from MP3 Car. We're here at AFK Fest 2009 in Baltimore, Maryland, and we're out in the garage checking out some of the cars that have showed up for today. And I'm here with uh, Eric Breyer, co-founder of Centrifuge. He did a, a speaker series piece this morning, and Chris Wood from Mosoco, and he donated a bunch of stuff uh, along with Eric for the uh, prize packs that we've done today. So, uh, Chris, I understand you have Centrifuge 3 in your car. Is that correct? Yeah, definitely. We've been beta testing it, helping Eric. Uh, debug it and everything else. Cool. We like the like the features so yeah. far. And this is one of your lab cars, right? That you, you yeah. Know. Cool. All right. Do you mind uh, if Eric gives us a quick tour and no, 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 uh, we'll go in and he can right. give us a spin on Centerfuse Three? Yeah, let's check it out. So, Eric, wh where's the home screen? I'm used to the big <laughs> logo across the center. This is the new home screen. What? Bro. What about my logo? Well, we've actually been hearing a lot about that today, uh, and. Uh, one of the big features of Centrifuge 3 is, again, it's it's very the skinning is very flexible and scalable. So if you want a, a home screen with the logo on it, that's not a problem. It's two skin changes. Well, we'll probably provide an alternate skin for the home screen that provides space for the logo. Okay. But the functionality is still there. You can still have the uh, logo.jpg. Right now, it's that tiny. Um, we just have it uh, you know, set, sitting here so we can optimize the, the usability of the main nav. Uh, but that functionality is still there. We'll just provide an alternate. Okay. So what's new? Uh, lots of new things. Uh, really, uh, what's key for Centrifuge 3 is what's under the hood. Again, with Centrifuge 3, the mission number one uh, is to make everything as modular as possible, to build open interfaces for navigation, uh, text-to-speech, Bluetooth, voice recognition. Uh, and all of that is in an effort to open up the development community to make it uh, to make our tools easier to use for everyone to make uh, plugins uh, for the system. Uh, from the UI perspective, we really made some improvements. We took a look at everything top to bottom uh, from the user experience and really tried to optimize, take away buttons that weren't uh, needed when uh, when they're out of context. Like now we've actually reduced the, uh, the volume uh, button to one button because we really want to utilize uh, this footer space. Um, the header, so now actually if you tap the, the volume button you get, uh, you get the volume to come up and down here. Uh, or we can just mute it. Let me go back. Uh, if I want to uh, actually take a look at the scrubber, if you notice the header, uh -huh. this is now playing. Okay. Anything in the, that's, that's sourced from the audio is now featured here in the uh, in the now playing header. Mm -hmm. uh, so you have contextual buttons for play, pause. You get track uh, detail information here about what's happening. You can tap on that and get uh, the format, elapsed time, and, and the source and things like that. And actually, I'm going to turn the music back up for just a second, and I'll show you the scrubber. You can actually scrub the audio back and forward, so you can actually jump to a, a touch-friendly scrubber for the audio tracks. And it works with video as well. So, uh, you know, forward, back, anywhere in the application, I can hit uh, now playing, and it takes me to the current audio section. So mm -hmm. this is the, the new media player, mm -hmm. uh, and I have. Uh, 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 flickable uh, home screen or, or uh, paging paging buttons. Go to my library, you can see one of the new features is transition animations mm -hmm. uh, to really kind of improve the, 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 the usability and, and the general, I guess, gloss of the user experience. Um, so we can go into albums, you know, pick an album here and hit play. It loads it up into the media player and it's playing. We're just muted right now. Uh, sounds like our friends from Germany. Uh, they're always playing some sort of house techno music in their demos. <laughs> Hello, Germany. <laughs> uh, but anyway, so this is the, the media player. Um, that, that's kind of so we've got a push to talk button here, which I don't think I've seen on previous screens. Is that a voice push to talk button here? Absolutely. It's contextual. So if you don't have voice plugged in, you don't see it. We uh -huh. use that real estate for something else. But if you plug in, if you have uh, text-to-speech set up, okay. that button appears, and it appears everywhere uh, you need it. So. And so in this car, Chris has got a DA350. Uh, mic noise canceling mic installed here. So uh, what what does it do when we hit that button? Uh, if you hit that button, it triggers the audio okay. uh, to focus on the mic. Okay. You enter your command. That way, uh, we mute the media. Everything uh -huh. is focused on okay. the command you need. A la you know a Ford Sync experience. Right. So I could press that and put navigation or how many how yep. many commands are we that we can say to it? Oh, that's a good question. Uh, I don't know. We'd have to ask engineering, but probably hundreds. Chris, do you have any idea how many? It's definitely selectable. Okay. Uh, I really don't know the, the, the volume of uh, controls that we have, but it's it's in the it's probably in the hundreds. Now, can we do things like I've seen on some aftermarket nav units that you can say like 
play Dave Matthews and it'll play Dave Matthews. Is that something that you guys have implemented yet? Or? Yeah, absolutely. Um, again, it's a limited library using, uh, we're using Microsoft SAPI as a standard. Okay. But the beauty of Centrifuge 3.0 architecture is that it's an open interface. So if you want to integrate something else more advanced like uh, blue, uh, like Nuance uh -huh. uh, or Grace Note yep. uh, that's contextual uh, media, uh, then you can do that. And okay. so now it's really, what we really focused on was building the, the framework to be as open as possible so that uh, all of that advancement can be done uh, by the development community or our customers. So you guys were in Grace Notes booth at CES, I think a couple years ago. Any, any plans right. there in, in the works with Grace Note? Uh, a lot, of, we're working with a few OEMs and tier one suppliers that mm -hmm. are looking, that, that have the Grace Note uh, functionality. Um, so our customers are definitely working with Grace Note okay. and, and asking for that level of implementation. So we're very excited that, that the Centrifuge uh, framework is allowing uh, allowing uh, our customers to kind of integrate those key features. Right. Do you and, think that's something that, that uh, end users like myself would be able to install in their car or is that d down the road? Uh, absolutely. No, as long as, uh, basically we think that integration is going to happen over time. We have plans uh, later this year, uh, either Q4 uh, of this year or Q1 of next year to launch an app store. Okay. So we take our SDK and our third party development community and we're uh, much like the iPhone app store. Um, mm -hmm really allow people to build uh, applications that extend the functionality of Centrifuge. So if Gracenote offers uh, an aftermarket solution, then mm -hmm. we'll support it. Mm -hmm. um, and that's really how our business model works. Great. Well, thanks a lot for the demo. Yeah, thank you very much. Thanks a lot for coming out. Thanks a lot, Rob.